What's up guys, so I want to talk about why it's so hard for me to talk about and theorize Death Stranding. Now, Death Stranding content has almost been non-existent on this channel, and I would like to explain why to you all. So, Metal Gear Solid 1 was the very first game I've ever played in my life, and I've stuck with the Metal Gear series up to this point. You know, through all the twists and turns, through all the reveals, through all the surprises, and now up to Konami's bullshit, I have been a Hideo Kojima Jima fan since I was a child, since I started gaming. So I understand that his games are very, very unpredictable. However, in the original Metal Gear Solid series, I talked about it a lot because I have a lot of experience in the games. I've played the games, I know the characters, I know the plot line by heart, as convoluted as that storyline really is. So now that Death Stranding is coming out, I of course want to follow Hideo Kojima's work and I want to speak about it. However, Kojima will go so far to hide secrets in his game to actually false advertise the games. What do I mean by this? In Metal Gear Solid 2, he pretty much hid Raiden's existence for a very, very long time. We all thought that we'd be playing as Solid Snake in the tanker environment for the whole game, but as we got the game, people were pissed because we were suddenly shifted to a new character who seemed to be very, very green and not very likable. Even in Metal Gear Solid 5, he told us all that we would be playing as big boss that were pretty much becoming demons but the game wasn't like that at all our protagonist was not big boss he really felt like he didn't really care too much for revenge it was cause pretty much pulling him towards revenge but big boss always said things like we're not fighting for ourselves or fighting for the future you know things like that he false advertised his games false advertised his characters he if you guys even remember, in the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 5, when it first got its reveal trailer, um, Kojima even went as far as to make up a whole gaming studio called Moby Dick, which was a complete lie. The very first trailer was just shown as The Phantom Pain. It wasn't revealed to be Metal Gear. That trailer was also tampered with to hide to hide fans from actually figuring out it was Metal Gear. He even said himself that he was surprised that people found out so quickly. So Kojima will go through lengths to constantly false advertise his games to hide secrets. And that's okay. That's not a bad thing. That's one of Kojima's charms as he's promoting his games. So now we have Death Stranding, a game that is obviously being made by Hideo Kojima. But Honestly, I don't trust a single thing that's coming out of his mouth. Him saying that the Ludens trailer and Death Stranding game has no s connection between one another. I don't believe that. I don't believe a lot of stuff that he said. And that's the problem. When you're theorizing, I feel like you should go over the information that's been given out. That's what I did with Metal Gear Solid 5. We got pieces of the story and then we try to figure it out based on the information that the developers have given us and because I know the story of Metal Gear I made a lot of predictions even back then I was ignoring a lot of what Kojima said and just focused on the main storyline that's how I made my predictions Death Stranding is a whole new experience new characters new settings and no relation to Metal Gear therefore even though he has made interviews about Death Stranding already, I just don't trust them. I don't trust the information that's being given out. He can literally say anything at this point. He can say Gundams will be in Death Stranding. He can say there will be, um, you'll be fighting against volcanoes in Death Stranding. He can say that Godzilla, King Kong, and all monsters will be in Death Stranding. But because we have no gameplay, because we don't really have anything to work off with, I don't, I don't see why I would make a theory because we haven't seen any of the game yet. We only have information that he and his team has given out and I do not trust him and his team. So you see how I just can't not make good theories. I've tried to make good theories, um, you know, talking about the stick in the rope that he um, often said saying that the stick is for fighting and the rope is for connections. He wants to make a game based on ropes more than sticks, which I understand that completely. But again, I can't 
theorize about the stick and the rope because again I have no idea what he means. Action games are usually resolved around sticks rather than ropes. So it's it's very convoluted. It's a whole mess and I just cannot bring myself to theorize. You know, I need some trailer. I, I need gameplay. I need something rather than the reveal trailer that we got. The reveal trailer in and of itself is just crazy. Now usually on this channel I make thoughts and reactions videos. Basically when a new game trailer or whatever drops that interests me, I talk about it. But I tried so hard to make a um, thoughts and reactions to Death Stranding's trailer, but Death Stranding's trailer is just so weird, it's so odd, it's so innovative, it's just so crazy that I cannot make a good thought, I can't have a good judgment. I was speechless through the trailer, I was speechless trying to make a thoughts and reactions, so I just didn't do it. But anyways... Let me know what you guys think about Death Stranding. What are your theories if you have any or are you in my boat saying it's so hard to come up with a good theory. It's so hard to talk about the game because there's barely any information to work off. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces.